There's a lot we can learn if we just reverse the way we see things. When I say reverse the way we see things, that could mean instead of drawing uh, dark on light or black on white paper, we can reverse and draw white on black paper. So I have a, a little approach here I'd like to show you. I think it's a lot of fun. First of all, here's what we're going to do. We're thinking in terms of values of what's in shadow and what's not in shadow. Well, the black represents what's in shadow. Everything's in shadow here in black. Not only is it in shadow, it is in deep shadow. Not only is it in deep shadow, it's in occlusion shadow. Black means no light shining there at all. And what we'll be doing is putting the light back in. So I want to use this, uh, this egg this is as a, as a uh, subject just to show you how we can do this. Now one thing, we can start out with a white pencil. This can be done with pastel pencils. Conte pencils, um, it, not not the white drawing pencils because they are made of wax and they don't do quite the job that the that the um, either pastel or, or um, chalk pencils do, and also or Conte pencils rather, not chalk. Also for the white that we'll be using here, either pastel or Conte. Even you can use the white chalk, even though it doesn't give you quite the brilliance as as the uh, pastel and the white Conte do. All right, so I'm using here actually this is a white pastel pencil. So what I'll do first of all with this pencil very lightly is I'm, I'm going to draw just a, just, a little, just a little placement drawing of this egg. And so I'll just sort of place it like this and um, get it tilted in the direction that I see it tilted. Now let's see, that's probably all I need to do. Um, because of the way the egg's tilted, we see that, the, um, that there is some dark, dark shadow down here, but we won't we're just going to be dealing primarily with the egg itself. Um, so let's see, I'm going to give it just a little bit more volume on this side. There we go. Now, so we're going to put the light back in. So the first thing we want to do is to locate where the center light is. That's this light right here, where uh, this, the, the part of the egg that's facing the light source. So we'll just take our, uh, by the way, if you break your pastel or your chalk, into a little manageable pieces like this, it's a lot easier to work with. So, uh, so we just come to wherever we see here. This location would be where the center light is. Now that will place that. Now, before I move on into the egg itself, I want to place or I want to work in the negative to shape its environment. So, when we're putting the light in, uh, we would put the light in with a over the much lighter hand where it is in, uh, in, in, in kind of a shadowed area there. So I'll just uh, move this around. And as then I'm working in the negative, now where the light would hit the strongest, and we know that by the center light here, and we see it lighter over there, where the light would hit the strongest, we give it a lot more light. So I'll pull the, a lot more pressure behind that, uh, that pastel. Now notice what I'm doing here. I don't want there to be any evidence uh, left behind of uh, the, the way I made that mark come around so I kind of average that out and then as I move around then it gets a little bit lighter now let's just do this okay it gets a little, little lighter actually it's darker there um, and so I'll give it a really really light hand as it comes around because we can still see the egg there it's actually, actually that area is darker so I'll just take my finger there now uh, and this falls more into shadow right over here so I think I'll just not I'm not going to do any more definition over here. I'll show you in a moment how we can deal with that. And so now I'm going to start working half tones. And that means less pressure as I work out from the center light into the egg, less pressure. And barely, so you're really aware of the pressure that you put on the, uh, on the material itself. And I've seen it's moving in that direction. And um, so I'll put less pressure, less pressure, less pressure. I'm seeing that really, uh, that as it moves into its low light, let's see this, these half tones move around here, then it moves in low light just barely any, barely any pressure at all as it moves into low light in here, and as it moves in towards low light, low light on this side, and eventually, and since eventually it moves into shadow, and when it moves into shadow, 
uh, right over here, it, it moves into shadow. It moves into um, a shallow shadow first, and then it, and the shadow gets deeper. So how do we handle that? Well, first of all, now let's let's do just a little bit of manipulating here. Uh, I want this to be very strong. This light right here to be very strong. And uh, now I'm going to move to the kneaded eraser. Now with the kneaded eraser, um, I'm going to begin to pick up some of this light material and put it, pull it in to the shadow side. So we'll just sort of do like this and pull it into the shadow side like that. Give that a little bit of blend blending. Let's just move it over like that. Now, as I'm pulling this off into the shadow side like that, I'm not touching that center light. But we'll just do that. And... Uh, so now I'll give that a little bit more shape over here as it's moving, as this part is moving into, uh, it's moving into sort of a uh, low light over here. And kind of a little bit of shadow over there, but we don't really see it as such. So let's just let me give it a little bit more, give it a little bit more substance there. And then I'm going to lift it away because it actually gets uh, darker. So just that, just just to give me some stuff to blend there. There we go. Now that's working. Now it's working. So now I'm going to work this in. Use the kneaded eraser and work it in. Now where there is more of the material, where there is more of the material, meaning the pastel, um, we get lighter values. On the dark, on the white paper. But I'm going to drop this down right in here. I'm just adding a little bit more there, get a little bit better blend. Where there's more material, we get the the lighter values are in the in light, not in shadow values. And those of you taking uh, taking my video courses know how I love working with the concept of in shadow and not in shadow as a way of thinking, rather than simply just calling things by their value names. All right, so now, and as now as it moves more towards shadow, right now we can pull that material and, uh, more towards the shadow uh, area right over in there. And then we can get a blend or blend that into the background just by touching it with the kneaded eraser like this. And we can lift out then turn the kneaded eraser to a cleaner spot. And where the shadow is the deepest, we can lift out right there. And... Uh, So now that we have made room for the shadow there, uh, we can, we need just a little bit more indication of very uh, sh shallow shadow uh, back here, we might call it. A little bit more of a shallow shadow back here, and a little bit more of an occlusion shadow right there. So then we would just do like this kind of backwards with our, uh, with our drawing right in here. So then this, all this becomes... Um, shadow in the negative space. So I'll just take all that away there and let's see how that works right there. Sort of like that. I'll just give, now I'm going to just come around here in the direction of uh, in, in, uh, making strokes in the direction of the uh, of the light movement there to show you. So see how much fun that is when you can take a a light sheet of a uh, dark sheet of paper or a black this is just black construction paper by the way I don't think I said that it's just black construction paper but when you can take black construction paper and then just continue to work the black construction paper according to the way a uh, light and shadow behave um, you can do beautiful drawings wonderful drawings just by following the patterns of light uh, with with a white pastel and using your kneaded eraser to cause uh, enable you to gradate and, uh, and help build the image. So, if you found this quick tip helpful, why not explore our full length video, uh, instructional videos? And we have several videos in drawing uh, that I think that you might find helpful at dyingmice.com. You're going to find numerous downloads and DVDs of all sorts there. So give it a try. And there's your quick tip.